Hey everybody, Robbie Kilgore here. I recently released some code for Logic and MainStage that creates a MIDI effects scripter plugin uh, called MIDIBot, which really combines a lot of the functionality from an old iOS app I made called DrumToy, plus uh, a later hardware version of MIDIBot, uh, an earlier incarnation. So I wanted to give a little tutorial on how that works uh, so that you guys can start using it and playing around with it. It's pretty fun. So for your mental model of how this works, imagine a 16-step sequence out of the box. That's the default, but of course you can adjust that to any number of steps. And it defaults to play every four. But that can be adjusted to any number. Here I've adjusted it to five. You see it plays every fifth beat. These are beats that it must play. You can also offset the beats that it must play so that they don't start on one but can start on other beats. And this basically shifts those beats to the right, uh, offsets them by some amount. Then there's probability, which you can use to dial in the percentage of times that it will fill non-must-have beats. The percentage of time that it will fill in the beats that are not required by the play every parameter. So, let's start with a channel here. I'm going to switch this channel to uh, the drum synth, just so we can get started here. And just for old time's sake, let's pick the 808 as a kit. Uh, now I'm going to add this MIDI effects, choose Scripter, and come down here and choose MIDI Bot. Now, MIDI bot defaults to playing on all fours. Uh, that's fine. It defaults to a 16 step sequence length. Uh, now, what we can do is you can dial in just a hint of probability here and bring the slow this sequence down here. Let's get down a little down tempo here. All right, so now we can add a second channel here. Let's just copy this channel. Now this one I'm going to use for snare. So that's traditionally D1. I'm going to do it on every eight beats, but I'm going to offset it by four so you get the back beat. Now, what's happened to our kick here? I'm going to say no fills for the moment. And then let's add yet another uh, channel here. And this will be our hi-hat. Again, we'll bring up the uh, drum synth. We'll choose the 808. Now, if you have worked with MIDI and uh, uh, MIDI layout, uh, you may remember that Uh, traditionally, the hi-hat starts on F-sharp 1. So it's randomly playing the first three notes of an Ionian mode, which is F-sharp, G-sharp, A-sharp. But now I want to take the root probability
Now this is saying 88% of the time, <clears throat> every time it's going to play a step, it's going to roll the dice, and if it's uh, within that probability, it will play the root. So in this case, because the root is F sharp 1, that's the closed hi-hat. Uh, and then very rarely it will play the accent on G sharp 1 and occasionally play that open um, hi-hat on A sharp 1. There it is. Now we can fill in the blanks a bit more. Now it's playing every three, but I could sort of fill in the blanks here. Now the other thing we have on these is, I'm going to link these so that we all get to see. We have a little bit of swing here. Let's put all of these up to... Let's uh, add a uh, yet another track here, except we're going to make this an instrument here. So let's select, uh, ooh, I don't know here. Um, let's pick our uh, bass line here. Uh, we'll do an upright jazz bass for fun here and I'm going to pick this scripter again, we'll load up a MIDI bot, now this I'm going to base on, let's say, uh, C2, um, now let's pick a pentatonic minor. with uh, doing bass, I'm eventually going to add some kind of duration control here, but if you put this down to unison, uh, single voice, Now, another feature here is that we can enable MIDI input on that particular channel. Let's make sure it's off here on the others, because we don't want to be uh, changing what those guys do with any inputs that we do. So those are all off, but for the bass, it's on. So now, uh, if I play keyboard input here, so right now we're based on C2. Thank you. 